What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about ultra marathons and why you should consider running them. So there's no surprise when you find out that some people, some tribes uh, use long distance running as like a spiritual connection. Um, ultra marathons, they will help you find your highest highs and your lowest lows. So what does that have to do with special operations? You can't find, in my opinion, a better replicate um, a better trial period of what special operations is going to put you through than running an ultra marathon as a civilian i don't i literally don't think that there's anything better out there not a course um, not anything where we replicate you know putting you guys through selection type events the thing is sf the q course selection it's so long and there's there's going to be times when you're rucking for so many hours that you're literally going to hit peaks and valleys throughout those rucks and the peaks are going to come through like breakthroughs when you've had just enough water just enough food you feel good your your feet aren't hurting um, and then you get that endorphin rush and you're just on a high and then you're going to hit a wall as to where when everything starts hurting you're hungry um, you're dehydrated and you feel like you're just gonna fall to your knees and collapse. Nothing could replicate that better than just running an ultra marathon. Um, and honestly, guys, like if you are trying to go SF and you think, oh, ultra marathon, like a 50K is just over 26.2. So it's like 32 miles, I think is the uh, 50K conversion, 32 point something. Um, those are the runs that I used to do and I loved them. It was through the, the woods, it was through the desert in Colorado um the de you know deserty woodsy trails it was such a blast i did uh pike's peak where you climbed mount st helen i think it's a 13er um during the race that was brutal it was torturous um, my knees were on fire it's just so much and the thing is that helps you with ultra marathons that people don't get is that you learn how to eat and you learn how to hydrate properly i almost was out of the Q course because I didn't know how to hydrate properly and I didn't know how to eat properly. Um, during the land nav phase, I just ran my butt off. Um, I barely drank any water because I was so worried about being late. And I ended up finishing like first, second, we came in at the same time. But then I peed uh, what looked like sweet iced tea and it hurt and it was bad and I could feel myself falling out. I'm pretty sure that I had early sets of rhabdo or I had rhabdo. But I wasn't going to tell anybody because I didn't want the cadre to drop me. So that's really dangerous and that's not a preferred way to do it. So ultra marathons will really teach you how to eat properly, how to constantly hydrate, the things you need to uh, drink. There's so many companies out there that make great products to help you stay hydrated, uh, to get that salt in there, to get um, your regiment down. And I had a buddy and he used to crush us all. He ran ultra marathons before joining. Um, and then he would always beat us on runs. He ended up going special forces. He ended up getting uh, dive qualified right out of the Q course. He won like best top spot at dive school. And then he went to Delta Force um, almost immediately after with little to no SF experience. The reason for that, I contribute his success a lot to ultra marathons. And here's why. Because those long distance run help you find out so much about yourself on top of the things that you learn about eating, um, exercise, preparation, maintaining your feet, um, recovery. Recovery is huge in ultras. You spend as much time uh, on recovery stuff as you do actually running. So if you have any inclination to go SF and you wanna put yourself through a trial period to see if you have what it takes, go do an ultra marathon, go do, I mean, build up to it, right? I'm not telling you to go do an ultra right out the gate. Um, so if you fall out, don't call me and be like, Buck told me to do it. Like, listen, build up to it. But once you get to that ultra level, and I, I'm telling you, I didn't even feel it at 26.2. I just didn't. 26.2, even though it's close to a 50K, you just don't have as much time out there to really hit the peaks and valleys um, 
as you do with 50k and above the i'm telling you when your emotions will go through a roller coaster and you will have to figure out how to manage your own emotions which is another huge benefit to ultra marathons you're going to have those same emotions in selection when things get really tough in the q course in small tactics when things get really tough um, in combat when things get really tough to where you're on a high and everything's going great um, your shoot move communicate like a boss and then something goes wrong you lose somebody uh, somebody gets shot a guy next to you gets shot and now your emotions take a complete dip but you know how to manage those because you tested yourself through the ultras um, and you learn how to deal with it you learn what the onset is like what that change of emotion is like um, and it's phenomenal i'm telling you i completely understand why they would relate that like some tribes would use that as like a spiritual connection because you learn so much about yourself so if you really want to challenge yourself and you're not in the military um, even if you don't plan on going special operations i promise you go try a long distance run it's really about time out on a trail i'm not talking about running the streets that would be miserable it's time on a trail by yourself with your own mind leave the music out don't put anything in your your earbuds on the race on training do whatever you got to do um, but on the race just focus on you your thoughts um, focus on the highs and be there embrace them and then when the lows hit you know work to get through it is a caffeine packet gonna give you enough pick-me-up to to reboost your morale um, is water is salt packets what do you have to do do you have to eat cookies what's your favorite snack you start to find out all these little things that help boost your morale and then how you could take those bad moods and really turn them around into your favor and that is powerful if you know how to do that there's nothing that you can't accomplish when it comes to this hard physical realm of special operations so highly recommend ultra marathons for you guys that are interested or even like running that haven't just signed up for one yet um, or for people who are just interested in pushing themselves mentally along with physically you know you run a marathon if you want to push yourself physically and yes there's some mental aspect there but i promise you get into the woods get into a trail race marathon responsibly don't blame me if you overdo it like i did my first marathon and almost fell out um, but get into that realm get out in the woods for eight hours at a time and you will find a whole new level of kick ass a whole new level of motivation and a whole new level of badass in yourself because each one of us has that badass inside of us the problem is we don't rely on them we don't test them enough for him to come out and take over all right guys i hope that helps go do some hard shit today put the fucking screens down do something difficult challenge yourself talk to you guys next time and i can't see it clearly but it's all